it's time once more to compare cameras. We're going to take a look at photos from the iPhone XR and the Galaxy S10e. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. We've already taken a close look at how the photo quality compares between the iPhone XS Max and the Galaxy S10 Plus. If we take a look at the specs, the Galaxy S10e has three cameras. There's one selfie camera here on the front that's 8 megapixels, and around back we have two more, a wide angle 12 megapixel lens and a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. For everything we do in this comparison, we're going to keep everything stock. We're going to use the default camera apps on both our iPhone as well as our S10e, and we're not going to do any editing afterwards other than maybe cropping things down to fit them into the video frame. We're going to run through several different modes, testing different capabilities such as the ultra wide angle lens versus the wide angle lens, things like the food photography, how that works with just the standard photography, or using that special food photography filter effect that this phone has built in. And of course we'll compare live focus versus portrait mode over on the iPhone. Comparatively, the iPhone XR also has a 12 megapixel wide angle lens on the back, the same focal length equivalent of the one on the S10e. And of course on the front it has the 7 megapixel true depth camera system used for taking selfies as well as using that portrait effect facing yourself. Let's jump right in starting off with some night photography. Both phones did great with their standard wide angle lens, though the blacks were a little bit deeper on that S10e. What was even more impressive was jumping into that wide angle lens, you can see how much more expansive the image is. And if we overlay the original image from the S10e, you can see how much more you can get in that single shot. Though there is a bit of distortion around the edges, and the image quality goes down just a hair. In this night photo, you can see the effect that the Samsung applies to all those little light bulbs that are strung above the roads. Some people like that kind of starburst effect, other people don't, so that's up to you, but to me it looks a little bit fake. Now we have some photos of flowers, and this was another test of the S10e and its ability to determine what object was in the photo. Previously, it could tell there was a night shot and made adjustments for that, and here it did the same thing for flowers, automatically identifying that flowers were in the photo. We liked the pictures of the flowers more on the iPhone, but those on the S10e had a more natural looking background. Switching gears to some food photography, the S10e absolutely had the better image using the standard wide angle lens. It identified that it was food and it added a little bit more contrast as well as a bit more saturation to make the food look a lot more appetizing. Those on the iPhone just looked flat. Using the special food effect, we did have to get a little bit further out. It didn't look bad here on our salad, though we still kind of preferred it with just the standard lens. And without that effect applied. Mixing it up with some more varied shots, here we have some water, albeit frozen. The S10e looked a little bit more on the warm side and less natural, where it looked a little bit cooler on the iPhone. Here with another kind of close up subject, it definitely looks a little bit better on the XR, though it's a little darker. The S10e looks a little washed out and we're not getting as much color as we'd expect from phones from Samsung which are usually oversaturated. Our barn fence here looks very similar in both images, though there is a little bit more warmth, a little bit more saturation there in the S10e. Using portrait mode on objects worked fairly well on both units though we could get a lot closer with the S10e than we could with the iPhone XR. There are also those different live focus effects that were kind of fun on the S10e. However, when it came to human subjects, it was a different story. Here we have a portrait mode photo from our iPhone XR. Everything looks very good, but when we look at the S10e version, the shirt and the face, basically the subject, gets a little bit more washed out and very blurred. It's basically the beauty gate scandal that Apple had to deal with many months ago, but now Samsung is doing it, and they're doing it even worse. We saw similar smoothing effects when we did a front facing selfie, again the subject looks a little bit more washed out on the S10e and everything is smoothed out just a bit too much. Both camera systems here are amazing. For certain times like portraits and various other shots, we prefer the iPhones. In other situations like the food photography or in wide angle situations, the Galaxy definitely was the better choice. So which photos do you prefer? Let us know down below in the comments. Enjoy that video? Click like and press on that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the Apple Insider Price Guide that has the best deals on Apple devices and is updated daily. Follow us on social media and we'll see you guys in the next video.